Yeah, yeah. Um, he gets ripped a little bit on um, social media, like Papa Domris, T Rex arms and stuff like that. Jordan Pickford. <laughs> I, I, you know what? <laughs> no, seriously, no. I do. So it's a lethal combination that yeah, Papa oh, risks and T Rex. Yeah, arms. small arms and weak arms. Yeah, it's not. It's not really. Um, it's not really a good combination. But no, he, he has made a few clangers. Let's be real, Jordan Pickford. He has made. A, but I don't think he's a bad goalkeeper. I just think he's still got a lot of learning to do, and I still think he's. He's got this. Um, he's got this like sort of youthful like arrogance about him, like you know. And and I've seen it with Joe Hart a few times. You know, he'd get him get himself all pumped up in the in the tunnel and stuff like that, and he'd give the opposition players a little bit of stick, mm. and then he'd go and make a clangor, and it'd come back and bite him on the ass. If um, if anyone's going to start ahead of Pitford, I, I I like Nick Pope. I think he's a decent solid keeper. Yeah, I mean. Jordan Pitford, like I said, he does get ripped a lot on social media, but maybe he's brought that himself on himself a little bit with age. Like I said, with goalkeepers, they, they do tend to get better with age. I don't think we're going to see any massive surprises in net against San Marino, Albania, and Poland. They're the games that are coming up for no. England in the World Cup qualifiers. As you say, we've got two decent options. We've got Nick Pope and Dean Henderson. They are probably the backup keepers to Pickford. And I think when Pickford comes back from injury, no matter what those players do in the World Cup qualifiers, he will be the number one keeper at the European Championships because Gareth Southgate just likes him. But with these England qualifiers coming up, Ian, do you think there'll be any surprises in there? How does Southgate treat it? Because it's a weird scenario that we're playing World Cup qualifiers just before the European Championships. So uh, do these World Cup qualifiers kind of work as warm-ups for the Euros? Do they? Is it an opp- opportunity for Southgate to test players out or is it an opportunity for him to kind of play the formation of the system that he will play in the Euros? Or would you like to see him maybe experimenting with a few different players, a few fringe players, and giving the players that will play at the Euros a bit of a rest? Because at the moment they're in the middle of this hugely relentless domestic season. How does he play it if he's England manager? He's got a few options there. What does he do? I think... um it's it's going to be a, an opportunity just to try out a few a few options, I think, because he's also got his hands slightly tied because of injuries. And we mentioned uh, Jordan Pickford being one, so he can't necessarily go with what, what we assume would be his first choice uh, due to the amount of experience he's currently got. But there's there's other players um, unavailable to him as well. Um, James Madison, Jack Grealish, Harvey Barnes, Jaden Sancho. Um, they're either doubtful or unavailable, um, which which could open the door to people like Jesse Lingard, for example, who's been having a, a decent time at, at, at West Ham and, and maybe some of the other um, you know newer players. We're not sure who he's going to select, obviously, just yet. But um, I think it's going to be an opportunity to try out some of the fringe players just because he's 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 got unlimited options um even if you know even if we wanted to play a, a first choice team he can't so i think it is just going to be one of those get togethers um with a few matches thrown in they're not exactly the most testing of uh, of of matches either are they um in in the scheme of things 